you know, give Syracuse you know, all the credit. They took us out of what we wanted to do. They did a great job in the zone. We didn't do a great job of attacking it. Um, you know, we turned the ball over. You know, in the first half, we turned it over 15 times. 25 for the game, and you know, it's, we didn't have any answers. Um, you know, from the perimeter, we didn't have any answers inside. Um, you, know, you know, Courtney getting those three fouls or two fouls early didn't help. Um, but you know, in the play against uh, a Syracuse zone, you turn it over 25 times, you're not going to win. Um, so that's the bottom line. We didn't play well. We didn't take care of the basketball. And that was the, the number one key going in. We needed to get shots against, uh, against Syracuse's zone. And we turned it over too many times. And you know, you think about it. We, we lost, you know, points off turnovers 32 to 12. You know, that's a negative 20. So you can't win um, that way. And that's, they, they play better. They play better. And it, it, we didn't take care of the basketball. That's, that's the bottom line. Questions? Coach, you, meant, you mentioned the 25 turnovers. Yes. Yeah. Um, how much of that was self inflicted? How much of that was pressure for Syracuse? Both. Both. I think we made, made you know, some, some bad decisions, but they're so long. You know, they're active and, you know, for the young guys to be able to see that for the first time, you can't simulate that in practice. You know, you can put your scout team out, right, here's the two three zone, play the wings high. But you know, when you have six five, you know, guards up top with, with great length, it's hard to get that ball. You know, you, you think there's a window, but that window closes so quickly. Um, so we didn't make great decisions, and you know, it's 50 50. They they do a really good job. And, um, we don't have shooters that can. Like, you need to expand that zone. We don't have shooters that, you know, last year we had guys that can shoot it from, you know, 22, 23 feet, and that expands that, the circle. And, and we don't have that this year right now. And so that, that zone is much more compact, you know, and we try to force things. And, and then they get out on the break, and that's, you know, they're a good half-court team, but they're a really good open-court team. And that's, we turn it over and, you know, have 32 points off the turnovers. That's, that's not good. What in particular did Syracuse do to contain your perimeter shoot? Just what Syracuse does. You know, they, they, the two three zone, they expand it, they get to your shooters. And they're long, they're six five, they got great length, and they make it tough, difficult. It goes without saying, but how much did not having Courtney in there take you out of what you wanted yeah, to do? You can make it, primary guy yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, but then you look at Courtney, he has you know zero assists and seven turnovers. You know, so you know if he if he played more, maybe you know he, he'd have more turnovers, who knows? You know, but you want it, it like last year we had Courtney in the high post. Right, you know, yes. so that you want a, a a guy that can handle the ball, that can shoot, that can make decisions. Um, those other guys, you know, aren't ready for that. Um, but at the same time, you know, Courtney didn't play the way he's capable of playing, and we needed. We, you're only as good as your seniors, and, you, and, and our seniors didn't play up to their capabilities. They had an off day, and that's what this was. Which is from a game plan perspective, not having him in the high post, doing what the things that he was doing last year in this game. Uh -huh. that, make it so you guys have to do something different than what you No, we just have to put someone else in the high post. That's not as effective. <laughs> Coach, you mentioned getting shots off against the zone. How much of an emphasis was it to, even if they were, weren't the best looks, get those shots up to avoid some of the turnovers that you committed by passing too much in that zone? I don't think we pass too much. I just think that you know, we, we try to get the ball to, to the middle um, you know, or, or you know, from, from the middle down to the baseline. We didn't make good decisions. It wasn't, you know, you never go in a game and say, you know, take a bad shot, don't turn it over. You know, take a 30-footer. That's, <laughs> that's not what you do. Um, so. So when the turnovers keep on mounting, especially yeah. in the first half, what's yeah. your message in the timeouts? How do you try to calm them down or take care of the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm trying to. Ah, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, make better decisions. You know, it's. I don't know how else. Play better. Mark, what have you taken from this 11 games of non-conference play? We got to get better. Um, I, I think, you know, getting Ladarian and, and Melky, the, the, the problem is that those guys, even Courtney, those guys have been out, so it's hard to get them into game shape during games. You know, that's the problem. When you look at Ladarian, and, you know, he's struggling. His timing, his chemistry, everything's off, and we need him to be you know, he doesn't need to be a guy that gets 25 points and 15 rebounds, but he's got to get, you know, good numbers. You know, 10 and 8, 13 and 12, you know, whatever it is. Um, you know, so it's those guys, and I said it before, it's, it's you know, when you get a guy back, you know, and I think Battle went through it a little bit here in, in Syracuse. You know, they, they, it's hard to get it back, you know, chemistry. Now he's, you know, he, he's back now, but it takes some time. It's not like bowling where, you know, you hurt your arm and you, 
your arm's all right and you can just throw the ball down the lane. This is you have to get in game shape. You're going to be in basketball shape. And you know what? We're, we're we're getting there, but we're not. We got to get better. Down seventeen two early again. It, it goes without saying, but how much more difficult is is that? You, you, yeah, you can never. Do you see the wind kind of coming out of the, the sail a little bit at that point? Or how do you overcome something? But like I think we fought back. You know, we cut it to I think eight at one point. But you know, against against Syracuse, especially here at the dome, you got to get off to a good start. You know, and that's what we did last year. It gives our guys some confidence, um, and it makes it easier against the zone. Um, but then, you know, when you get down seventeen to two, now you're rushing things and trying to, you know, score quickly, and and it just, you know, the, the, you need patience against it. And I think sometimes just human nature, when you get behind like that, you try to force things, and that's part of you know the turnovers that.